Lucky day. Great, Barbara. Forget that there are now 15 Soviet republics, each with their own nuclear weapons. You've got Pop-Tarts. They float in your milk. <laughs> well, they're good, and we're doomed anyway. Hey, Drive, you want a doggy biscuit? Hmm? Come on, Drive B. Whitey, have a doggy woggy biscuit. <laughs> How come he doesn't want it? Maybe something's making him nauseous, Barbara. Good morning, Weston. Good morning. Harry, need your advice. Major decision time. All right. Sure thing. No, let me get this first. Oh, but Harry, this is important. Charlie, I've got a call here. Oh, hi, Mr. Dawson. How is he? By the way, is he running a fever? Oh, geez, make it snappy, will you? I got a real head scratcher here. What's the big decision, Charlie? I got a very serious job offer from an exciting new company. Really? Where? Uncle Buzzy's Pirate World. I play Captain Blood, the ruthless scourge of the South Seas. Well, that's great. Where'd you hear about it? Well, I was dating this girl who plays one of the mermaids. <laughs> Tip to the wise, take the tail off first. <laughs> anyway, it's twice as much money as I'm getting now. Well, that sounds good. Yeah, but, you know, the cruise line's been very good to me. Harry, get off the horn and help me here. He's being very rude. No, 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 it doesn't sound like tonsillitis. I tell you what, bring him into the office. I'll take a look at him. Yak, yak, yak. He's worse than a teenage girl. Daddy, I think there's something wrong with Drivers. He didn't eat his breakfast either. You don't think he's sick, do you? Let me check on him. Let me see him. Let me see, let me see you. Let me see you. Come over here. Well, his nose is wet and disgusting. Tongue is slimy. The rest is awful. <laughs> Seems fine to me. I gotta go. Bye, right Dan. Bye. All right, my dear. I will see you soon. Bye. Good morning. What are you getting out? An article on Nick and the ball team. He's been chasing the hitting record, and he's about to catch up with it. <laughs> hitting record? I thought he was in a slump. He's not hitting the ball. The balls are hitting him. <laughs> If he gets hit by six more pitches, he'll break the record set by the now comatose Lumpy O'Brien. Aren't you worried about him getting hurt? Of course. I am scared to death. I tried to talk him out of it, but it means so much to Nick. After all, it's his only real shot at baseball immortality. Well, I wish him good luck. Luck has nothing to do with it. This is skill. Picture this. Bottom of the ninth bases are loaded, and just like Babe Ruth calling his shot, Nick points to his head. <laughs> Would have hit him there, too, if Lefty hadn't thrown a sinker and nailed him in the crotch. Uh, was Nick okay? Oh, yeah, he was fine. I'm just glad I wasn't there to see him take that victory crawl to first base. <laughs> well, you've got quite a man there, Laverne. <laughs> Of course, maybe not quite the many was a day ago. <laughs> Good morning, Mrs. Peterson. Hey, John. Nice to see you again. Uh, again? You mean I come too often, don't you? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. no. <laughs> of course not. No, no. What he said on the phone that he felt a little warm, yeah. so let's take a look. You must think that I am one of those alarmist mothers. <laughs> and now I'm taking up your time and someone's probably dying outside. <laughs> No, no, dear, it's all right. You're, you're, you're no different than any other mother. Uh, oh, I'm really concerned about his fingerprints. <laughs> I 
Well, maybe a little different. <laughs> How's his appetite? Well, uh, not good recently, but but who can blame him? I'm a terrible cook. <laughs> yeah, let me see this. Let me see. Oh, come on, just a little slight fever. You're gonna be all right, John. Probably just got a little cold. Oh my gosh! And I almost didn't bring him in. <laughs> I should be shot. No, no, dear, no. Don't be silly now. I mean, loss of appetite is often a tip off that something's not quite right. Come on. <sighs> Mrs. Peterson, don't, please, please, don't worry so much, okay? Now, remember, we've been through this before. Plenty of fluids, plenty of rest, rise in temperature, call the doctor, all right? Yeah. All right, bye-bye. You drive carefully. I'll try. They shouldn't let me on the road. <laughs> Boy, she sure is a nervous Nelly. No, 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 she was right to bring him in. I mean, loss of appetite is an important symptom, and... Come to think of it, Dreyfus has not been eating very well lately either. I think I'll take him in for a checkup. Kyle Laverne, you know, it's amazing how much other people can teach you about yourself. I gotta write that gem down. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna change a lot of people's lives. I think I'll take him in right after work. I mean, you know, I always say, better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> Doctor, we're gonna have to get you a long white beard and put you on a mountaintop. Hi, Arthur. Hi, Harry. Always a pleasure to see a medical colleague. Yeah. Uh, Arthur, I'm a, I'm a little worried about Dreyfus. Well, let's have a look at him. Okay. I wanted to be an MD, you know. <laughs> Must be nice getting all that respect. Those special license plates. <laughs> You ever seen the inside of a cow, Harry? That's my reward. No, I'm, I'm real sorry, Arthur. Uh, how's his temperature? Well, let's have a look. My assistant. We don't have nurses, you know. <laughs> Took some x-rays. Oh, temperature's a little high. If you recall, he does have a little bronchitis problem, but that doesn't seem to be it. How's his appetite been? <laughs> Not so good. Well, as a high-priced physician, you know that's the first sign of trouble. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, of course I know that. Whoa, nice watch. <laughs> I mean, thanks. The patient's uh, father gave it to me. That's great. Must be nice for taking kids' pulses. <laughs> Timex. <laughs> you don't need Swiss movement for a pig. <laughs> Thank you. What, what, mm. I was afraid of this. Dreyfus has acute hip dysplasia. Well, so uh, what's the prognosis? Well, it varies. Arthur, come on, please, let me have it. Harry, there's a chance that Dreyfus may never walk again. That hip's pretty far gone. That's right. And the standard operation is not going to correct it. Well, but it's something you can do. Well, there's a new hip replacement called the Binder procedure, developed by a Dr. Binder in Georgia. Results have been good. Well, then let's, let's do it. Let's, let's go for it. I gotta tell you, Harry, it's a long operation, and with his bronchitis, he might not make it out of the anesthesia. My God, this is awful. I mean, I don't want to risk his life, but... Oh, Dreyf, what are we going to do? Yeah, I know, I know. I know. Arthur, what would you do? Well, if he were my dog, I'd hate to see him live with all that pain. I'd go ahead with the operation. You're right. Let's, let, let's do it. Let's do it. Now, but if, if this is the Binder procedure, I want Binder. Harry, this is a very famous vet. You don't just Arthur, pick up the we're phone. talking about Dreyfus's life here. I want Binder. Just get me Binder. Bye-bye, dear. Did Dr. Binder call yet? Keep your lab coat on. I tracked down his pager number in Georgia, and he should be calling in any time now. Oh, good. That is, assuming he's back from Germany. <laughs> My God, what's he doing in Germany? Getting an honorary doctorate from the University of Heidelberg. 
Curious why them wiener dogs be my guests. Dr. Weston's office. Nick, it's about time. What happened at the game last night? You took a fastball in the head. Oh, my God, are you okay? Oh, good. What's that? You took a fastball in the head. <laughs> Honey, you just told me that. <laughs> Bubba. <laughs> Bubba. <laughs> Hang up the phone now, honey. <laughs> Hang up the phone. <laughs> Nick's coming back tomorrow night. I'm gonna have to talk to him about this foolishness. I'm worried sick about him. I know what you're talking about. I mean, I, I, I wish Dr. Bender would call. I can't think about anything else. I can't stand the waiting. Oh, you're not the only one waiting. Them prospective parents are in your office to interview you. Uh, uh, you you'll stay by the phone in case he calls. I tell you what, how about I sit on it? That way, if the ringer's broke, I'll get it when my butt tingles. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Dr. Harry Weston. Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, this is my wife, Susan. Hi. Pleasure. Well, we called you because we heard such great things about you. Amy Madison said you're always there for your patients. Phone, oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Bender. <laughs> oh, later. Uh, Laverne, you take care of it. Just some parent. Oh, uh, fine, now, where, uh, where was I? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, well, I believe in a very personal approach to medicine, and of course, I keep up with the very latest treatments. And, hello, Bender. Oh, uh, Carol. How is he? All right, all right. Now listen to me. This is this is what I want you to do. Scratch his belly real hard. Uh huh. No response. Um, try raw meat. Stick it right under his nose. All right, honey. All right, dear. No, I'll 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 talk with you later. All right. Bye. Thank you, Doctor. I, I don't think we're quite ready for your approach to medicine. Well, oh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm just very distracted today. My dog is, really, is very sick. This beautiful dog here? We were just admiring his picture. Yeah, that's my, my Dreyfus, sweet Dreyfus, huh? I mean, he's not just a pet. I mean, he's my pal. He's my companion. I had a dog like that. <laughs> Doctor, how about we make an appointment to come back next week? Oh, uh, you're very sweet. I thank you, Dad. I appreciate that very much. Old waggly. <laughs> Used to lick my feet. <laughs> Dr. Weston's office. It's Dr. Bender. Hi, Dr. Bender. It's Harry Weston. I, thanks so much for calling back. Is, is there any chance you could come to Miami very soon? Oh, my God. I just felt the first baby kick. Shh, Susan, this is about the dog. <laughs> Dr. Bender's plane landed an hour ago. I should have met him at the airport myself. Dreyfus must be so frightened spending the night all alone at the vet. Poor thing. But they have them in one of those little hospital gowns that don't close in the back. Harry, I really need your advice on this pirate world thing. Charlie, look, I'm, I'm sorry, but Dreyfus is operations tomorrow. I really, I can't think about anything else right now. Oh, okay, of course, I'm so sorry. You know, I, I totally respect your concern for Dreyfus. I guess I'll just have to make a decision without you. I, I won't bother you anymore with my problems. Thanks, thanks Charles. But let's say Dreyfus got a job offer for, oh, I don't know, a new theme park. Charlie. Maybe doing a pirate thing? Out! <laughs> Alice feels so empty without Dreyfus. It's just not fair. The only purely non-judgmental loving male in the world. He might be taken away from us. Yeah. Whenever I was upset, he was always there for me. You know, I remember coming home from the hospital that night. Your mother died. Everything was so unreal to me, I hadn't even cried yet. I opened the front door and Dreyfus leapt up to greet me and suddenly I had this, this vivid memory of the expression on your mother's face that Christmas morning when Dreyfus jumped out of the box and met you all for the first time. So I knelt in the doorway and I hugged Dreyfus and that's when I cried. Oh, <laughs> I cried. You know, it's funny. I cried on Dreyfus that night, too. Me, too. Poor thing. Must have been soaked. <laughs> that must be Bender. Okay, come on. Okay. 
You have a snack ready for him? Of course, Daddy. I'm a professional caterer, for God's sake. Ah, oh, Dr. Binder. Come on, welcome. I'm, I'm Harry Wesson. These are my daughters here. I can't tell you how much we appreciate your coming. We want to make sure you get a good night's sleep before the operation. It's very nice of you to have me here. Uh, uh, tell you the truth, I am uh, sick and tired of hotel room. <laughs> yeah, you travel a lot, huh? No, my wife kicked me out. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a uh, t terrible divorce. I was such a fool to marry that woman. <laughs> oh, nothing like getting away from her all to forget your troubles. Yeah, yeah, I just, I just, um, I, I, I can't get her out of my head. Sometimes when I think of her, I just get hit with these terrible fits of despair. Would you like a cookie? <laughs> valleys of depression that just make me useless for anything. Get the snack. Get the snack. Oh, God. Home-cooked food. Did she ever in her whole life make a decent meal for me? She left me for a younger man. Son of a bitch was cleaning my pool. Oh, God, what did I see in this woman? Milk, huh? Warm milk! Now, that you'll, 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 you'll sleep like a baby. God, every Monday she smelled like chlorine and I never put it together. <laughs> but try not to think about it. You know, come on, just, come on, just relax. Let the Westerns take care of you. What? <laughs> ah, hand, hand, door, hand. Hey, 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 give me, give me, give me. Okay, okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's all right, it's all right, it's all oh, right. It's, it's fine. Right. It's yeah, fine. nothing, nothing's broken. Everything's... It'll be fine. Just said that. Take it easy now. Let's, let's get a nice restful sleep. Uh, would you get us back, please, Barbara? <laughs> Barbara. My wife's name is Barbara. <laughs> oh, God! No, 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 no. Nick? Oh, you did it, honey. I am so proud of you. First man in the minors to be hit by a pitch 87 times in one season. <laughs> Thank God it's over. Thank God you're still in one piece. Well, you catching the first flight back to Miami, honey? It was a home game. Don't do that. Bye-bye, <laughs> Nick. All right, we better get started. I got a good hunch about this one. Hunch? You have hunches about operations? Isn't it a little more scientific than that? No, the moon's in Pisces. <laughs> Harry, relax. Come on, we're going to do everything we possibly can. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Doctor, it's time. All right, don't worry, Drive. Everything's going to be fine. Don't be scared, Dreyfus. It'll be okay. Oh, I love you, Drive. All right, here we go. Hey, good boy. Good boy. Dr. Bolton hasn't given us an update in half an hour. Something awful's happened. We don't know that. It shouldn't be much longer. We're waiting to see if he pulls out of the anesthesia. Oh, my God. Oh, Dreyfus. I'll let you know. Thanks, Arthur. Oh, I'd give anything to have Dreyfus come through this. Carol, if he makes it, I'll never, ever fight with you again. And I won't fight with you either. I promise. God, I feel completely helpless. I can't stand this anymore. I should be with Dreyfus. Now, I think it's a good thing that he's going in there. Maybe Dreyfus will sense he's there and it'll help pull him through. Oh, if anything happens to Dreyfus, Daddy, you'll never forgive himself. Barbara, don't even think that. Dreyfus is big, he's strong, he's he's not that old. Oh, I just can't stand it. Oh, girls, I am so sorry. He made it! He made it! I'll never forget this, Dr. Binder. Well, I'm just glad I could be of some help. You got a wonderful dog there. Oh, Dr. Binder, we can't thank you enough. You wanted Binder, you got Binder. I thank God for Binder. Three cheers for Binder. <laughs> what am I, dog meat or something? So you got Binder. Big deal. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Did you see that? Dreyfus raised his eyebrow. Yeah, he's definitely been feeling better, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, West Ends. <laughs> Harry, I, I came over to thank you. You forced me to make my own career decision. I, I think I've grown as a person, and I, I feel I can face the world with dignity. <laughs> Charlie, your fly's open. Ah! Oh. 
third time today. Uh, Carol, come on, leave him alone. Charlie made a decision on his own. I think he deserves our full support. Thanks, Harry. You know, I've already memorized what I'm supposed to say. Welcome to me lair, land lovers. Oh, I jump on me stump and with me hook, I'm deadly at karate. Boys and girls, if you're feeling the urge, just follow me peg to the potty. So, uh, basically, you show kids to the john. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, that's part of it. <laughs> what else do you do? Well, um... Boys and girls, you're feeling you're just following me thinking. No, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Charlie, you haven't given notice on the cruise ship yet, have you? What? Are you implying I made the wrong decision? Well, no, but if you're Charlie, Charlie, no, it's really good that you made your own decision, but I know maybe we should we'll talk about this a little more. Arg! <laughs> Harry, you see what happens when you're not there for me? Oh, sure, fine. You know, you're there for dry fest. You're there for little sick kids. But what about old Charlie? How could something that feels so right be so wrong? Arg! I gotta go, Dad. Oh, bye, I'm baby. late. Right. Bye, dry bye, Daddy. Bye, well, bye dry uh, fest. Take care, girls. Oh, my trifle, my trifle is my sweet boy. Oh, trifle, oh, trifle. You know, trifle, now that the operation's all over and you're all better, I can tell you that I was so scared. I was afraid I was going to lose you. I didn't want to worry you. But, I mean, the night before the operation, I, I didn't sleep a wink, and then in the morning I was... Uh, trifle. I wonder if you have any idea how much you mean to me. Huh? Ooh. Oh. I wonder if you have any idea how bad your breath smells. <laughs>